out of bounds off of the block, but Nicole doing a nice job just plugging up the middle for the birds. Morgan Boyd into the game. Coming out is Michelle Price. Ball comes in. China Turner lost control of it. Racing knocked away. Loose ball's picked up by Langster. Now the shot is taken and good for Morgan Boyd. Boyd was in the starting lineup the first time these two teams met this season. Bird's lead is down to nine. Bounce pass goes to Hannah Spanich on the right wing. She works against Langster. She sent to the floor, keeps the dribble, gives it to Lewis. Lewis over to Clifton. Now Clifton out top to Bracey with 13 to shoot. Ashleen to Amanda. We're going to have a lane wow. violation on Nicole Lewis. Camped in there a little too long. Too bad because Bracey was trying to get the ball back into her. Robbins thinks it was a foul and it wasn't. It was a three-second lane violation. <laughs> Bob Trammell's explained to her she was standing in there. 33-24. It still has a very weird feel it to it. Does. It's a nice crowd here tonight, and they've not gotten too excited. You would almost think the birds were down. They are up by nine. But for some reason, you said it earlier, there's just a funny flow to this game. Henderson, top of the key for the Shockers. Working against Clifton. Now finds Langster. She'll drive. And a tie-up on the floor. Hannah Spanish getting a hand, or two hands more accurately, in. And the Redbirds get the ball back. Yeah, so far, Wichita has not been able to get anything off a of dribble penetration in the second half. Amanda Clifton up the floor, Illinois State, with a nine-point lead. That's what it was at the half. We're at 17-20 in the second half. Clifton on the right wing. Finds Maggie Crick out top. Crick. Goes left, now right, in some trouble, has to spin it out to Lewis. Eight on the shot clock. Clifton takes it, now drives inside, ball is knocked away, and it will be Redbird ball with three seconds on the shot clock. You think we're going to see Nicole Lewis shoot this one? You know, it's a good possibility. Ah. Substitution coming in, perhaps anticipating just that. Jasmine Gordon comes in to match up against Lewis. Three seconds on the shot clock for the Redbirds. Ball comes in the Lewis. Shot is up and in and out in the rebound. Gathered in by Gordon. Up the floor comes Henderson. Illinois State leads by nine. Shockers with the basketball. Gordon goes to Langster. Langster working against Spanish. Now double team forces the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound by Bracey. That's seven for Ashleen. On her way perhaps to another double-double. Maggie Crick on the left wing. Dribbles behind her back. Spins. Shoots and misses. And the rebound gathered in by Wichita State. Lewis doing a great job on defense as Gordon had to throw the ball away just to get rid of it, and Henderson tracked it down just before it went out of bounds. 16-20 for the game, and the Birds lead stands at 9 as neither side has scored in a bit. Boyd goes to Sheena Johnson. Johnson's on the right wing. She's directing traffic with 6 on the shot clock. Down to 4. It's Langster out top with three. Shoots a three. It is not good. Rebound Ashley Bracey for Illinois State. That's number eight as she continues to rack him up. Bracey, top of the key. Goes to Spanish. Under 16 for the game. Birds by nine. Clifton wants it. Down low. It's Bracey. Bracey scoots it to Lewis. 12-footer. A little short in the rebound picked up by Gordon. Birds get some good looks. Can't get him the ball. Now the pass is thrown away. It'll be Illinois State basketball. And that'll take us to our first official's timeout. When we come back, we're going to see some new Redbirds on the floor. 15.40 to go in the game. Illinois State with a nine-point lead, 33-24. Back in a moment on with WJBC. Four new Redbirds in after the timeout. It's Illinois State basketball. Alexis Jenkins, Katie Broadway, Shayla Jackson, Emily Hamlet join Ashley and Bracey on the floor. Birds with the ball. Bracey left in the lane. Fires it up. Shot not good in the rebound gathered in by Wichita State. Bracey hit her first six and has missed three in a row now. And she's had good open looks. Birds, or the two teams now, two of 15 oh. after this Wichita State shot misses. Ball is loose on the floor. It's picked up by an alert, Ashleen Bracey. Ashleen Bracey into the lane. Hands it to Jenkins. No shot. Now Broadway out top for three is not good. Rebound, out of bounds to Wichita State. Whoa, the birds are really cold this half. Uh, so far they are one for seven. Of course, Wichita's one for eight. One so, for nine, you know, nine, actually. Yeah, actually, you're right. 
Yeah, so not exactly a shooting clinic here in the first five minutes, and the uh, Redbird lead is where it was at the half, nine points. Shockers back with the ball. Shot taken is good. That wouldn't look good. Sheena Johnson gets her team back to within seven, 33-26, 14-39. Well, the birds don't really have a big cushion here, that's for sure. Well, it was bigger a moment ago, a few moments ago, but it was 11. Now, Emily Hanley, shot is up and good. Emily Hanley is so dangerous with that left hand. What folks might not know about her, although we've talked about it before, is she's actually left-handed, though she generally shoots, including her free throws, with her right hand. I know, we could do a scouting report. What do you think, R.C.? Well, you hang around for a couple of years and pick up a couple <laughs> things. Shot low. for three is good for Henderson, her 14th on the year, and now the Shockers are within six, 35-29. And a foul finally on Jasmine Gordon, first foul of the half for either team. That'll be her first as she was very afraid of losing Emily Hanley. The elusive Hanley. Well, Hanley is... Right now, second on the floor or in the game and scoring with 10 points. Well, and four for four from the floor, two for two at the line. She's, she's doing a great job tonight. Yeah, Emily's got to have a breakout game here. Her season high is 14. Her career high is 15. And she's certainly well in range of that. Ball comes in to Katie Broadway. She'll drive to the hoop. Bounce pass goes to Hanley. Kick out to Bracey. She angles in, and she is fouled. And Picking up another foul is Jasmine Gordon. That's two in about ten seconds, and this one will send Ashleen to the free throw line. That was a good take by Ashleen Bracey going to the basket. She'd missed those three shots. She needed to get a higher percentage shot. Ashleen Bracey at the line. Missed a free throw earlier, but again has missed just five on the season. Six-point Redbird lead, and this one is good. Ah. I would think that Robin Pinston would like to see a little bit more cushion in this game, and Wichita State doing a very good job staying under double digits. Second free throw, good as well for Ashleen. So the Redbirds back on top by eight. Pressure in the backcourt, oh. and Alexis Jenkins going for the ball, fouls Wichita State. She was a second late in deciding to go and got caught in that foul. Gina Johnson. So it'll be Shocker basketball. Birds by eight. 13-40 for the game. Marissa Henderson. Bounce pass goes to Johnson. Guarded by Bracey. Now top of the key. It's Diamond for three. It's not good. And Ash Lane gets the rebound. She's got another double-double. Up the floor, Katie Broadway to the left wing. Lexi, now Bracey, fakes for three, steps into the lane, gives it to Shayla. Shayla will drive to the lane. The shot is blocked from behind by Turner. Lost out of bounds on the recovery effort. It will be Redbird basketball with 17 seconds on the shot clock. That's Bracey's sixth double-double on the season. All six in Valley play so far. That's her 18th in her career. That's a pretty good record. 37-29. Illinois State with the lead and the basketball. Bracey left in the lane. Puts it on the floor, and she is fouled. I don't think Boyd can contain Bracey. If she's able to draw the foul on either Boyd or Jasmine, then uh, she's making good choices going to the bucket. Not a shooting foul. Just a third team foul for the Shockers in the half. Ball comes into Shayla. She's looking for position underneath the bucket. Can't get it. Kicks it out to Hanley. Now Alexis Jenkins, top of the key, with 13 for the game, and the Birds leading by eight. Shayla Jackson goes to Jenkins. Jenkins to Bracey. Bracey loses the handle, gathers it back in along the baseline. Now is double teamed, in some trouble, passes out of it, but not before a timeout is called by Robin Pinchton to save the possession. So the Birds will have it with eight seconds. On the shot clock, when we come back, as this one extends to a full timeout, back after this on the WJBC Country Financial Redbird Radio Network. Remember those movies where dinosaurs were still alive and their little pea brains hadn't evolved, so they just ran around? I post where she's going to be able to drive and possibly dish or take it all the way or pull up and take a jump shot. 
Alexis Jenkins will send the ball in for the Redbirds. Again, eight on the shot clock. Comes into Hanley. She shoots it up. Doesn't go. And the rebound gathered in by Wichita State. Good defense against Hanley. So the Shockers trying to cut into an eight-point Redbird lead. It's Marissa Henderson guarded by Alexis Jenkins with 12 and a half to go for the game. Tina Johnson on the right wing. Maggie Crick is guarding her. She is back in the game. Shot is blocked by Ashleen Bracey. Loose ball gathered in by Alexis Jenkins. That was a block on a three-pointer by Ashley. That's hard to block. People don't understand. That's a much tougher shot to block than one in the paint. Ashley is double team has to get it to Katie Broadway. Broadway to Maggie Crick out top. 12 seconds. Now Bracey, top of the key with nine. Jenkins with eight. Jenkins drives the baseline, kicks it out to Maggie. Maggie fakes for three with four. Now Bracey on top with two shots, doesn't go, but Hanley gets the old board for Illinois State. Now Maggie Crick, top of the key for the Redbirds, finds Alexis Jenkins. Birds by eight. Crick on the left wing. Off the screen from Ashley and thought about shooting it. Now drives inside, bumps her way in, fires it up. It's not good in the rebound. Picked up this time by the Wichita State Shockers. Will come back the other way. China Turner goes to Henderson. Henderson back to Turner, working against Hanley. Trying to set her step her way in. Now goes against Hanley. Shot is blocked, and the loose ball is picked up by Wichita State. The kick out now to Johnson. Shot clock did reset as that ball just barely caught a portion of the rim. 11.08 to go. In the game, Birds by eight, Shockers with the basketball. Johnson left wing, down low, it's Turner working against Hanley. Back out, shot for three is not good. Rebound, Emily Hanley with a nice box out for the Redbirds. For Emily, her third board to go with ten points. Lob down low, pass over shot, Bracey. It's a turnover, picked up by the Shockers. Anderson drives against Hanley. Ball's knocked away by Hanley and picked up by Alexis Jenkins. Great defense by Emily Hanley that time. And she talked her teammates all the way down the court. Jenkins out top to Hanley. Now Maggie Crick on the left wing. Bracey left of the lane. Drives. Kicks to Jenkins. And an offensive foul called on Ashley and Bracey. Taken by Henderson. Maybe a little flop by Marissa Henderson, but she got the job done. And that will take us to the official timeout. That's just the second foul for the Redbirds in the half. Just the fifth foul between the teams in the half. 10.26 to go in the game. Birds still up by eight. 37.29. Back in a moment on the WJBC Country Financial Redbird Radio Network. When Meadows Family's home. With help from Mike Rich, your country representative in Lexington. Hi, this is Scott Lachlan. Join us every weekday morning beginning at 5 for the news and information you need to get your day going. On your voice for the Redbirds. 1230 WJBC and WJBC.com. Thirty-seven twenty-nine, Illinois State, still with that eight-point lead. Not much scoring here in the second half. Ten twenty-six to go. Let's go courtside to Tom. Robin Simpson started off that timeout with a question. She said, "Why are we having so many breakdowns?" And there were some answers and some some, some uh, suggestions offered from the players. And Robin said, "We're losing our aggressiveness. We need to play. We need to just go out there and play and play aggressively." Because she said the hesitations are what are throwing us off, not necessarily any aggressiveness on our part. Birds just two of 11 in the half shooting. Wichita State is three of 15. Shockers with the basketball. That is an ugly half so far, no question. There's a shot put up. It's oh my. good. Goes on the line for Diamond. Shot counts and a potential three-point play and. Illinois State is lucky the diamond wasn't about six inches further away from the bucket. As this yeah. could be a five-point game. Free throw for diamond is good, so it is a five-point game. 10-15 to go. This is the closest the Shockers have been since the first half. Amanda Clifton into the game now for the Redbirds. Emily Hanley. Goes to Maggie Crick. And now we do have a zone defense from Shockers. Maggie Crick goes to Clifton. She'll fire it for three. It's good. Big, big three for Amanda Clifton. Eight-point Redbird lead. 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if Wichita stays in that zone or if that was a, a one-time occurrence for them. Well, I thought they'd run it as a one play earlier, but I'm not positive they about it. Have. Down to 15 to shoot for the Shockers. Shot is up and good. Okay, Just inside now the line for Gordon. Gonna shoot. <laughs> to go from famine to peace. You'd rather go that way than the other. That's I think, a generally good point, speaking. Yeah. Six point Redbird lead. Maggie Crick with the basketball. Hanley, head fake for three. Down low. It's Lewis to the hoop shot. No. Rebound. Hanley. Ball out of bounds to Illinois State. Another point blank miss by Illinois State. They've had good looks in this half and have not converted. Redbird's lucky to hold on to possession of the ball with 9.08 to go. Again, a six point lead, 40 to 34. Lowest point total for Illinois State in a win. This season was at Milwaukee with 51 points. Well, they have nine minutes to try and better that. My Maggie goodness. Crick misses Thanks. right beneath the hoop, and this has uh, not been the best offensive display for Illinois State. And Wichita State back in the game, down by six. It's Diamond off the screen. Lewis comes out to get her. Now she'll shoot over Nicole. Shot is good. We're down to a four-point game. You know, this looks a little bit like some of the shooting the birds had earlier in the season. Maggie Crick goes to Amanda Clifton with 8.37 to go. Four-point lead for Illinois State. Katie Broadway for three. It is not good. And the rebound, Wichita State. And the Shockers now starting to dominate the boards again. Well, the birds have been one and done on their last three possessions at least. Four-point game. It's Henderson. Out top to Sheena Johnson. Now Diamond. Diamond off the screen. The give and go. Shot is blocked by Nicole Lewis, but the Shockers get the loose ball. Down to eight seconds on the shot clock. At the free throw line. This is Price. Shot is put up, and it's good for Johnson. This is a two-point ball game, and a timeout is called by Jody Adams of Wichita State as the Birds on the wrong end of a 6 nothing run right now and find themselves hanging on to a two-point lead, 40-38. It's just a reminder to players of what they already knew, that it's eight minutes, and it's a ball game. We're going to find out who's better tonight in eight minutes. She said, we need to finish layup. We need to, if, we, if there's a block shot, somebody has to go and get the rebound. So we're just missing on fundamentals, and, and we've got to change that. We can't, we've got to change that on the floor. And if there's one thing that has stood out to me in this game is how much better the Shockers have been at picking up the loose ball than Illinois State. Uh, it's as if they want it more. There's a little bit more hustle in their step, and uh, the bird's kind of complacent in many respects. Pass lob down to Lewis. Shot is up. Good, and the foul. Big play after the Wichita State timeout. Perfect pass from Amanda Clifton to lob it down there for Nicole Lewis. And she'll have an attempt at a three-point play when we return from the timeout. Four-point Redbird lead, 7.42 to go. Back in a moment on the WJBC Country Financial Redbird Radio Network. Hey, ISU fans, it's basketball season. Stop by the Alamo 2 for all your Russell Athletic apparel. Russell Athletic is worn by America's top team. The Alamo 2 offers Russell Athletic Illinois State sweatshirt, t-shirt, shorts, and sweatpants. Alamo 2 is the official supplier of... Hey, y'all, they're making some crazy shots. But if we guard them harder, they won't even think about taking those crazy shots. I thought it was a pretty good point. And you know what? I can hear Ashleen saying exactly that. They're True. making some crazy shots. Uh, and she's right. If they would put more pressure on the ball on the ball, and contest that shot, it would be much more difficult to hit. So Lewis at the free throw line. Free throw is good, and the Redbird lead is back to five. And that's... And the three-point play ends that 6 nothing run put on by the Shockers. So it's 7.36 to go in the game. Redbirds are up by five. Marissa Henderson on the right wing. Crowd, crowd is trying to get into this game. It's a tough one to do. Here's a block shot. The putback, though, is good for Wichita State. I'm not sure how Price got in there for that rebound. Nobody blocked her out. Nicole Lewis blocked the shot and did not block the shooter. And you've got to do both. Three-point Redbird lead with 7-11 to go. Maggie Crick will drive inside. Now kicks out to Bracey. 14 on the shot clock. Ashleen drifts right. Finds Amanda Clifton. Lobs down low to Lewis. Ball is knocked away. Tapped out by Lewis to Bracey. Five seconds on the shot clock. Now Crick 
Shoots for three. It is not good. And the rebound picked up by Wichita State. Broadway was trying to get in there for a tie-up. Couldn't quite get it done. So the Shockers with a chance to perhaps tie on this possession. It's a three-point ISU lead. 6.34 to go in the game. Diamond off the screen for three. Nowhere near it. And the rebound is picked up by Nicole Lewis. Here come the Redbirds in transition. Maggie Crick left wing for three. Got it! Third by six. And I think that's the first transition the Birds have been able to run tonight. They, they were credited with uh, two points earlier, but honestly, that's the first realistic transition they've had. And Jody Adams is going to call a timeout for Wichita State, a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. I think that two-point fast break in the uh, stats was on that long pass from Clifton to Bracey. Yes, half you're court. absolutely right. Well, but that's the first true tran transition yeah. we've seen. And right now, Jody Adams has only one timeout remaining for six minutes. He'll get a, uh, an official timeout at the four-minute mark, but uh, – He's just got one timeout left, and he's doing a lot of coaching. 6-10 to go, Birds by 6, Hamla Monica courtside. Well, that fast break started by uh, Amanda Clifton being able to get away from Marissa Henderson, who's been kind of stuffing her up in the backcourt, but that time Amanda got away from her, and that was what the congratulations were for her coming into the huddle, that if the Redbirds could get away from Henderson, they're going to get a 3 on 2 a 4 on 2 but... Robinson, look, we just need to keep executing and keep remembering the game plan, find their shooters. 46-40, Illinois State with the lead. Shocker basketball after the Wichita State timeout. Again, as Jill mentioned, just one timeout remaining. Pass goes down low. It's Turner. Shot is up. It's not good. Nicole Lewis with the board for Illinois State. Here come the Redbirds trying to push it again. It's Clifton. Clifton goes to Crick. Nothing doing on the left wing. Out top, it's Lewis. Broadway to Ashleen Bracey. She goes one-on-one -on, -one on Price. Shot is up. Good. She is fouled. Count the bucket. The timing on that whole possession was entirely different than the first uh, 35 minutes of this game, R.C. 48-40, Illinois State now on a 5 nothing run of its own. And if Bracey can hit the free throw, it'll be a 6 nothing run. 5.43 for the game. Ashleen at the free throw line. Free throw is good. She completes the three-point play. And Illinois State with a couple of those in a row. And suddenly the three-point game is a nine-point game. 49-40. 5.34 to go in the game. Shockers with the basketball. Right side. This is Johnson. Johnson trying to drive in at the free throw line. Loses the ball. Picks it back up and sinks the shot. I don't know why Nicole Lewis faded off of that defensively when she really was guarding Johnson. I, I'm not sure what she was thinking. Birds lead by seven. It's Maggie Crick on the right wing. Clifton to Broadway. Down low. Pass is knocked out of bounds by Michelle Price. It will remain Illinois State basketball. Broadway was trying to find Ashleen Bracey, who leads all scorers with 18 points. Shockers, as you mentioned, Jill, nobody in double figures, but they have eight players in the scorebook. Yeah, eight kids playing and eight kids scoring. Everybody is contributing offensively for the Shockers. Haley Langster into the game as Diamond takes a seat. Redbird sent it in. It's Ashleen on the wing, protecting the basketball. Gives to Crick. She'll drive from the left baseline, kicks it out. Clifton pulls up. Now Lewis on the right wing. Crick wants it back. Good ball movement here by oh. Illinois State. Gracie backs her way in. Bounce pass to Lewis. Shot is good. Ashley Gracie with the assist. Nicole Lewis with the bucket. Birds again by nine. Under five to go. China Turner for the Shockers. Left side, it's Langster. Langster to Turner. Her shot over Bracey is short. Really crashing the boards is Wichita State, but the ball trickles out of bounds. And Katie Broadway with great effort to go after that one. Shockers lose it out of bounds to the ISU ball. Ashley Bracey, I think, got cranked by a, an arm as a player went by, but she doesn't want to come out of the ball game. Maggie Crick sends it into Broadway. 4.34 to go. It's Crick working against Johnson. Illinois State leads by nine. Pass goes up to Clifton. Press is broken. Illinois State with the ball, setting up a half-court offense. Amanda Clifton, top of the key. Gives it to Lewis. 
Broadway in the corner. Ten to shoot for ISU. Broadway takes the three and nails it. Wow. Katie Broadway, her third three, and Illinois State has a 12-point lead. That was a big-time shot with Langston in her face. Broadway with 11. Shockers with the ball. Shot taken and not good. Put back is good. That's Price with the bucket. They do not get Price off the board. She has so many offensive rebounds. Under four to go, and the Birds lead by ten. That 12-point lead was actually Illinois State's largest. Here we're going to have a foul on Wichita State. That's Langster going for the ball against Broadway. Six-team foul, so the Redbirds will be in the bonus the rest of the way. 3.40 to go in this one. The Redbirds have turned it around in their favor in a hurry. 3.40 to go. Birds lead 54-44 back in a moment on the WJBC Country. Over to the bench. She had a smile on her face. Got a fist bump from Rourke Cutchlow. Boy, the Redbirds strength coach deserves some credit. The Redbirds play strong, and they're strong with the ball, and it makes difference, a difference on simple plays like that one. Redbirds with the basketball and a 10-point lead. Ball goes to Maggie Crick. Her layup not good. That's the second layup Maggie has missed tonight, and she's as mad at herself as anybody out there. And the Shockers get the board. You know, and a layup there really hurts Wichita State. Here comes Price against Lewis. Shot is blocked, and now Nicole Lewis hustles to pick up the loose ball. Up the floor, Bracey catches the long pass. The finger roll layup too strong. And again, Bracey that time didn't have real good position. We go back the other way, and a foul coming up on Nicole Lewis. And Nicole Lewis is a one-person wrecking crew right now. She's made three defensive stops in a row, and they can't convert. First foul. And this will send to Wichita State to the line. It's Johnson. Just to go back to that last play, Bracey kind of caught that pass in an awkward spot. Bad I don't angle. think she had a real good position. But, it, again, that's a tough call to make when you're wide open. Do you just, you know, set up a half court or do you go for it? Well, she went she for it and it didn't certainly work. made several of those. And if you wanted in anybody's hands, it would be hers. Free throw is good, so they get the lead down to nine. Shockers were within three at the 725 mark, and then the Red Birds with three consecutive three-point plays. Two three-point shots and one conventional three-point play, and that got them up to 12. Lead is now down to eight, and a steal on the inbounds pass and a blown shot by Diamond, and the Red Birds there to get the rebound. Maggie Crick got the loose ball. So we have seen missed opportunities by both sides, and uh, truth be told, it has not really been the prettiest exhibition of basketball in front of this good crowd here tonight. Yeah, execution has not been phenomenal on either side, although I've been very impressed with Wichita's defense. Down to five to shoot, Crick sets for three, a little short. The rebound tapped up and picked up by Katie Broadway, and the Redbirds will go ahead and run some clock right now with an eight-point lead. That was Nicole Lewis that got that out from that the crowd under the board. 2.22 to go. Redbirds with the basketball. Still 16 on the shot clock. Crick, 12-footer is good. First by 10. you got to like Maggie Crick. Missing a couple of shots, coming right back and hitting one she knows she can make. 2.07 to go in the game, and the Birds with a 10-point lead. Here comes Diamond, fired it up. It's good. I'll tell you, she's hard to contain. They're even having trouble catching her. Off of the ball screen, Jody, Jody Adams calling her last time out. Final timeout. This will be a full, so we'll take a break as well. 158 to go in the game. Birds lead by eight. 56-48 back in a moment on the WJBC Redbird Preview at 1.30. ISU women host Missouri State Sunday at 12 or at 1.45 here on WJBC. Ball comes in for Illinois State after the timeout. Again, that's the final one. Pressure in the backcourt, broken by the Redbirds. Amanda Clifton now on the right wing. The Birds playing a good game of keep away. See if Wichita State will try to foul. Clifton will take it out top with 16 on the shot clock, 142 for the game. And Henderson finally gets the foul on Amanda Clifton. This is going to send Amanda to the free throw line with 139 to go. I don't think Wichita is intentionally trying to foul. I do think they're trying to crank up their defense and really pressure the ball more and see if they can force some turnovers. Uh, nice job by Amanda Clifton to take care of the ball. So Clifton at the line. Free throw is good, so she earns the bonus. Amanda 
a 64% free throw shooter, and that puts her last on the team. That's amazing, isn't it? Second one is good. Yeah, you'll you'll take that when you're when your trailer shoots 64%. Problem. She yeah. hits them both here, and the Illinois State lead is back to 10 with 90 seconds for the game. Diamond, a prayer for three is not good, and Nicole Lewis grabs the board for Illinois State. She has really ratcheted things up defensively here as of late. So 123 to go. Redbirds break the press, and now they're trying to foul Broadway. And we've got players piling up all over the place. The Redbirds actually got a foul as Katie Broadway got herself in a little bit of trouble. So it'll be a 30-second timeout. 1.18 to go for the game. Wow, that, it was a good thing they took the timeout. They could have lost the possession there. Think about it, think that's the kind of toughness we want. Nicole disrupted that shot, got the rebound at the other end, was actually diving for the loose ball when the timeout was taken. Ball well, comes in. It's Amanda Clifton with 15 seconds on the shot clock. And Maggie Crick is going to go to the free throw line as Sheena Johnson fouls her here. So it's, it's looking more and more likely that the Redbirds are going to keep their win streak alive at 10 and improve to 10 and 1 in Missouri Valley Conference play. I'll tell you what, though, Wichita has given the Birds as good a game as anybody has in the last several that they've played. That is the truth. Probably make the case. Well, Northern Iowa was a, was a tough win True. on the road. Second free throw, good as well for Maggie, but I was going to say, maybe the toughest game the Birds have been given since the Birds won at Wichita. True, and, and, that, and by the fact that was a 15-point game, it, it didn't play like that. Ball is knocked away, kept by Wichita State with one minute even in the Redbird lead at 12, and oh, here's a three-pointer wow. stuff by Nicole Lewis. That was a pretty athletic play by Nicole Lewis, who doesn't oh. get enough credit for her athleticism. Jasmine Gordon hits a little jumper here, gets it back down to 10. With 48 seconds to go, ball is deflected out of bounds. It will remain ISU possession. Okay, the last 10 minutes, Nicole Lewis has played exceptionally well. And a timeout taken by Maggie Crick. Birds are really having trouble getting the ball inbounded against the Wichita State pressure. Credit them for their uh, denial defense. 30-second timeout. Again, we'll keep it here. 47. The fundamentals of trying to get open against the press. She said, you've got to set your player up, cut, and then break hard for the ball. Ball comes in to Nicole Lewis, and she sends it right back to Maggie Crick. Langster guards her for Wichita State. Crick lost it over to Amanda Clifton with 17 seconds on the shot clock. 35 now for the game, and Illinois State's lead stands at 10. Now down to 10 on the shot clock. Down low, it's Lewis. Passes up the shot to run some more time. Picks it out to Bracey. Bracey lobs to Lewis. She catches and is tripped on her way out of bounds, Whoa. and it will be Wichita State basketball. Let's hope Nicole, Nicole took a bad, okay. bad, bad landing there under the basket. And she, she is okay, but she will come out of the game. Emily Hanley, very Quietly putting up a 10-point performance. 21 seconds for the game. Ball comes in. Wichita State lets it roll to half court. Now it's picked up by Henderson. Diamond gives it to Gordon. She'll pull up. Shot is not good. And Ashley Bracey gets another rebound for Illinois State. And a foul coming up by Wichita State. will put Maggie Crick to the line. And the cheerleaders and band start to sing the fight song. <laughs> That's always a good sign, isn't it? Ten-point lead for Illinois State. Maggie could make it 12. Ten seconds even. Hard-fought game. You have to be impressed with the way Wichita State played and, and their game plan coming into this one. But Well, with only eight kids active on their roster, they got a lot out of what they brought today. Rick's free throw is good. 11-point ball game. Maggie will have another 12 points for Crick. Second one is good. So the lead is at 12 with 10 seconds to go. Again, Wichita State rolls the ball in. It's Henderson with the basketball with six. Henderson dumps it off. Shot by Langston for three is not good. Rebound put back by Diamond is not good. And the ball will go out of bounds. But not before the horn sounds. And Illinois State 
comes out of this one with a 12-point win. Their 10th in a row for the Redbirds. 62-50. ISU with a victory. Leading the way, Ashleen Bracey. Another double-double. 18 points, 11 rebounds. She was particularly hot early, hitting six for her first six. More to come during our postgame. We'll speak with one of the Redbird players. We'll also talk with head coach Robin Pinston. That's all coming up as we head to Redbird Review. The Birds win this one, 62-50. Back in a few moments on the WJBC Country Financial Redbird Radio Network. This winter has been a nasty one at times, and you spend a lot of time inside a nice, warm, toasty home. Then you get your heating bill and soon realize that your heating system is worn out and working way too hard. That's costing you money. Scratcher Heating and Air has a solution. Right now, you can get up to $5,000 in rebates and credits on qualifying Lennox heating systems.